Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. Collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. This government can't do shit. We're on our own. Lance, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. How? Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Hey, rookie. Rookie. You're wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bane now. We're officially in Peggy country. How much longer? Until long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch. 10-4. White horse to dispatch, over. Corrido. We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. Did go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. <laughs> All right. Lucky I'm not there. If you get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. 10-4, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the probie. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the teeth. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Roger that. Dispatch, you still there? Yes, go ahead, Sheriff. You don't hear from us in 15 minutes. Send in everyone. Call the goddamn National Guard if you have to. Over. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Now listen up. Three rules. Stick close. Keep your guns in your holsters. And let me do the talk. You got it? Got it. Rookie! All right, everyone. Stay sharp. Let's go! Now be in the 
church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can speak easily. Brooklyn, I mean. Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Nancy. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges, Mexican. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. That's bad. Take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Along, we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you know, there will be no more check. suffering. Oh, fuck it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. We knew this moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And the hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Marshal, take point. We're going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Keep up. I am a federal marshal. 
I'm ordering you to stand back. Matthew, it's bad. 
They ambushed him. He's dead. We need to find those sinners. Ahead for the lumber mill. I'll be waiting. I need some help up here. The sinners could be... Thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here 
with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these. Okay.
has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. <sighs> Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. <laughs>